I think it feels wild. I think I still like don't totally connect with the fact that I myself am in the magazine. Like I know I'm on the shoots and I know I'm there and present, but I think like I have like a disconnect maybe when I was a fan of the magazine, what I saw it to be and now that I'm in it, I'm like, oh wait, that's me that people see the way that I saw people before. I think there's a disconnect there. So sometimes I don't know. I don't think I totally realize that it's been 10 years and like what a moment. There aren't many clients that you get to shoot like the same concept, like the same story, but get to do it in different ways. It's like every year is a little bit of a learning experience and also different location, different weather, different style, different feelings. So I get so excited when I ask them ahead of time now, like, what is our style? What's the theme? Where are we shooting? You know, is it a jungle? Is it a beach? Is it a farm? Is, I've kind of been in so many different locations. So every year it's a little bit different and it's so much fun to be able to grow with people that you love and that you feel so comfortable with. Some years you know much more in advance than others, just for whatever reason, if you are shooting in the beginning or the end of the season, kind of you you know earlier or later, or if something happened with one of the trips and they have to move someone, sometimes you only get, you know, a few days notice. So it's not that you always get like months to mentally or physically prepare for a shoot like this. I just get excited. I think what was nerves or feeling a little bit anxious is now like creative, you know, outpour of like creating mood boards and styles and vibes and references and trying to like figure out what we're going to do and, and how I can make it better or kind of studying different body language for different locations. I found it to be interesting that I have chosen what I'm wearing to all the events. However, I haven't put them on since they've made them in my size because whether they existed previously or not, they were all pieces that they said they were going to make. And all of them said, we don't want to make it too much in advance because we want it to fit perfect and we don't want to have to re-alter it later. So I haven't put any of them on finished product. So I feel also that is keeping me at a little bit of a distance from it because I'm like, I've never even put the dress on. Like, we'll get there and do the hair and makeup tests, like all that. I think it all will like come very suddenly and be back to back and then I'll be like in full wedding mode. We're very aligned on our aesthetic and our vision and our dream and our style, like luckily for home decor and, and, and everything really designed, we're very aligned. We had had a plan of having it in another location, which totally fell through, which was very stressful, changing the entire venue and date, like not that long ago, but it's all fallen into place. So everything's good now. But for there was like a few weeks there that I was like, I don't know, I'm losing my mind.